So we've received a lot of questions from you lately on Facebook about the really challenging subject of thinning hair with your male clientele. And so what we wanted to do today, Brandon is kind enough and sweet enough to let us focus on his challenging area. So we want to give you some tips and tricks on how to deal with this very, very challenging area. So let's expose Brandon. <laughs> So, great thing, Brandon's just kind of in those early stages, it's starting to lighten up through the crown area, and this is really, really common for a lot of our male clientele. So, first things first, we really need to focus on product choice, because a lot of men aren't using the right product. First thing that we're going to use is a product from Redken called Dense Effects. It's in their Seraphil line. What this does is actually goes in and it surrounds the hair and actually expands it. It's almost like creating 9,000 fresh new hairs on the head because it's actually plumping up each individual hair enough to create the illusion of more hair. It's also acting on the scalp itself to create a healthier hair strand. So, what a lot of your male clientele are not doing is they're not using a product in wet hair and using something that's gonna to help to expand the hair strand on wet hair and actually blow drying it in is really, really important. So we're gonna give this a little shake. And this has a little bit of a spray gel consistency. It's got a, a, a really directive tip to it. So we're gonna spray it right down in, right at the scalp. Now where we're not gonna spray it is through here, because that's already thick. We don't wanna add density to this area, we wanna add density here. We're gonna work that into the scalp, and this is the instructions you'd wanna give to your client when they take it home. And then the importance of blow drying, almost with or without product, is that the blow dryer is gonna help to expand the cuticle of the hair as well and give the illusion of thicker hair. So we're going to just blow dry in the direction that Brandon's hair lives, which is towards the back. And just with our fingers, we're going to work the hair up and off the scalp to give it a little bit of volume. And that heat combined, combined with the dense effects will really help to plump up the hairs that are already there and give it more dense feel. And a lot of people think like, oh, a guy isn't going to use a blow dryer. And we've found the exact opposite, actually. Even with guys that aren't thinning, we find that guys are much more willing these days to use styling tools to get the effects that they want. So don't be afraid to talk to your guys about actually putting a blow dryer onto their hair. I have to blow dry my hair every morning, so why can't my clients do it? So you can start to see as that dries, it's starting to really fill in and just kind of mask the lightness in that area. We did a video before on how do you have the conversation with a guest on them going light in certain areas, uh, maybe a receding hairline or something like that. And the reality is, guys, is we know what's going on as men. We look in the mirror, we realize that there's something happening in our hair. So don't be afraid to bring it up. Of course, you want to be gentle with your words to not bruise the ego. But, you know, ignoring it is not an option. And if you have a solution for them, such as product choice or a certain haircutting technique, you're going to be very, very thankful that you brought it up. Luckily, Brandon's one of my best friends, so I was just able to say, hey, Brandon, it's time to do something about this patch on the back of your head. <laughs> so especially after you brush that out, it gives a nice fluff to the hair and a nice fullness to start to mask that in. And the idea isn't to create a comb over effect, you know, I mean, there's definitely a difference between masking and then just apparently covering. And that's what we want to stay away from, you know, if, if your guy is so far gone 
that it's, it's not maskable, uh, maybe it's time to go for just a short haircut and let it be. But with you know, the right products, with the Cerafil line from Redken, you can actually add a lot of that density back into the hair. So one of the other really important things that will help with this area is the contrast between the density here and here. Because genetically, we are actually meant not to lose this area of hair. That's why even on the guys that are cue balls up here, they still have the little donut around the sides because this doesn't go anywhere. So the challenge is this stays thick as this lightens up. So what we need to do is we need to take some of the density out of the ring area. And it seems so counterintuitive on a guy that's already starting to lose some density to pick up a blending shear but I'm gonna use, it's our Signature Series Invisiblend Shear, and this is gonna take very, very soft and very invisible amounts of hair away. But what it's gonna do is it's going to help to balance out the effect of the density at the edges versus the density in the crown area. I'm working with the teeth of the blender towards the head to make sure that the hair wants to sit to the head nicely. and just taking some of that bulk and weight out. And by just softening up through there and giving that an airier feel, it's going to help balance the visual between these two areas. Especially right through here, this is another area, you know, on most guys that tends to have way too much bulk to it. So again, we're just gonna use that invisible end shear to softly remove some of that bulk to balance out the weight distribution and that creates a nicer balance between the two areas. When you're cutting this area of the crown, the thing that we'd suggest is actually go ahead and use a point cutting technique through the top. Because there's not a lot of density of hair, if you come in and blunt cut it, you can achieve a very hard line there. So actually use a soft point cut as you're cutting through the crown and then use this technique through the sides for your balance. So again, going back to product choice, we started with the Serafil Dense Effects on wet hair, but now we need to finish it with something on dry hair. And the key here is to not separate the hair back out. So we don't wanna put something heavily oil-based uh, we don't want to put something that's going to make the hair kind of map together too much. And it's going to be better to have a bit of a matte finish. So I'm going to use the Outplay Texture Putty from Redken, mainly because it does have a very matte finish and it's not going to get oily in his hair. We're going to take a very small amount, just a little fingertip full. We're going to put it into our palms, work it into our hands first. And some of you have made, maybe seen a previous video where we did this technique. This is called the shoe shine technique. And what this is, is we come across the ends of the hair and we're just dusting through the hair. We're not getting our hands down in towards the scalp. And what that's gonna do is it's only gonna bring the ends of the hair together. It's not going to bring the stuff of the scalp together, so it's not gonna expose so much skin. And especially on, on a lighter texture of hair, we just don't want to be crazy about the product application, keeping it a little drier and not going overboard with the product is going to help things stay denser and thicker. So I really want to thank Brandon for putting himself out on screen and exposing his area of his head that sometimes a lot of men can be pretty sensitive about. So thanks, Brandon. Appreciate wow. it. And for those of you with any further comments, questions, anything else that we can help you with, please leave your comments right underneath this screen. There's a box there. And we'll leave a few links for information so you can find out more about Serafil. It was great to see you guys. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sandia.